Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 5th, Cinco de Mayo Day, right? A little different maybe this year. Listen, this is kind of a blast from the past. I got thinking about this story from way back, many years ago. I remember using it in, uh, in a sermon about love. And we've been talking about love and loving our neighbor and as we love ourselves. And Jesus said, this is how, disciple, how people are going to know that you're my disciples if you have love for one another. There was an eight-year-old boy. He uh, had a sister who was a little younger than him who was actually dying of a rare kind of leukemia. And they had ran all kinds of tests and they determined that she needed a blood transfusion or um, she wasn't gonna be able to live. And so all the family got tested and none of them were a match. And so finally they asked the little eight-year-old boy if he would be willing to get tested because there was hopes that he was a match. Well, after some coaxing and explaining what was gonna happen, the little boy uh, decided he would take the blood test and sure enough, he was a match. And so his parents sat him down one evening and explained to him that he was a match and wanted to know if he would be willing to donate his blood to his little sister in hopes of saving her life. And they explained kind of uh, that it would be a longer ordeal and they would have to be connected kind of uh, laid down side by side and, and two hospital beds and take blood from him and transfer it to his sister. And the little boy, you can imagine, uh, said, Mom and Dad, can, can I tell you in the morning? Can I sleep up on it and think about it? And of course, the parents said, absolutely. And I can only imagine what they went through that night. Anyway, next day comes, they're eating breakfast and the little boy kind of uh, hangs his head and then pops it up and said, Mom and Dad, I decided that I'm willing to donate my blood for my sister. And so they celebrated, they got excited, they called the hospital, they made an appointment and they wanted to get them right in. And so sure enough, they did. They took them both in, they uh, got them prepared and laid them down side by side in a bed and hooked up the, the equipment and uh, put their IVs in and got ready to do the transfusion of the blood. And after a little bit, as the little boy's watching the blood drip and the little girl's watching the blood drip, um, the little boy uh, kind of closed his eyes and wasn't really doing much. And then the doctor walked in and wanted to check on the little boy and said, how are you doing? And the little boy opened his eyes and he said, I, I'm doing pretty good. But he said, sir, can I ask you a question? How much longer will it take until I die? The doctor kind of had a puzzled look on it and it only took him a moment to figure out that in the little boy's world, the little boy thought that by giving his blood to his sister, it was gonna cost him his life to save his sister's life. And he said, oh, young man, I am so sorry. You're not gonna die. We're just taking some of your blood. You're not gonna die. And we're hoping that this is gonna save your sister as well. What a great story. The little boy was willing to lay his life down for his sister. Wow. You know, this whole loving our neighbors herself, this whole idea of Jesus saying, this is how people will know that you're my disciples, that you have love for each other. I think this is a pretty good example of having the right kind of attitude. What if we loved people like that? What if we loved our own family like that? What if we loved neighbors like that? Wow, love always costs something, always. Think about that as you go through your day. God bless. Have a wonderful Tuesday, and we'll see you on Wednesday.